Traveling to Europe is an exciting dream, but to fulfill that dream, you need a Schengen visa. In this video, I am going to share with you a step-by-step -step guide on how to get a Schengen visa. First of all, let's understand what a Schengen visa is. First, a Schengen visa is a type of short stay visa that allows you to travel freely within the Schengen area, which comprises 26 European countries. If you are planning to travel to any of these countries, you will need one Schengen visa. And by getting Schengen visa, you can travel to any of the 26 Schengen countries without any hassle. Now, let's move on to the step-by-step -step process that you need to follow to grab your dream tourist visa to Europe. The first step in applying for a Schengen visa is to determine which country's embassy you need to apply at. This will depend on your main destination or the country you will be spending the most time in during your trip. For example, if you are planning to cover multiple countries in one trip, which most people do, you need to determine which country you will be spending the most time in. And then you will need to apply for Schengen visa through that particular country. If you are spending equal days in different countries, then you must apply at the country which is your first port of entry. The whole Schengen visa process is managed by three service providers, mainly VFS, BLS and TLS. So make sure that you are making your application to the respective provider that caters to your country of travel. The next step in your journey is to fill out the Schengen visa application form. This form looks something like this and I have also embedded the link to the form in the description below as well. This form will ask for personal information such as your name, date of birth and passport details. So make sure you are filling out the form accurately and double check for any mistakes. Along with the application form, you will need to provide several supporting documents such as valid passport, proof of travel insurance and proof of accommodation. I have covered these supporting documents further in this video. Most embassies have a checklist available on their website which will help you ensure that you have all the required documents. Once you have gathered all the necessary documents, you can schedule an appointment at the embassy. It is important to note that appointments fill up quickly, so it's best to schedule your appointment well in advance. If for some reason appointments are not available online, you can also try phoning the embassy or service providers to find a slot for yourself. Now the last step and the most important one, documentation. On the day of your appointment, make sure you are carrying all the required documents which are mentioned in the checklist and also that I am covering now. The first document is your visa application form that you filled in step 2. The second document is your passport size photograph with white background. The third document is your original passport with copies of the first and the last page. On number four, your return flight tickets clearly stating your name and date of travel. Please note the date of your flight tickets should match the details in your application form. Number five, your hotel bookings for the entire period of your trip clearly stating your name and days of stay. If you are staying with a friend or a relative, you must obtain a letter from that friend relative stating their address and confirming that you will be living with them during your period of stay. Number six, a travel insurance. This is a mandatory document that all the applicants must have before they are traveling to Europe. And make sure you submit the details of your policy showing your coverage and not just your policy cover letter. Number seven, you will also need to provide proof of financial means to show how you will be funding your trip, which can be in the form of a bank statement, a pay slip, or income verification letters. To be on a safer side, Make sure your bank statements are stamped as the embassy needs to ensure you have enough funds to cover your expenses during your stay in the Schengen area. Number eight, if you are applying in a country you are not a citizen of, for example, Indians living in UK or US, make sure you carry your BRP or visa both in original and a copy form. If you are an employee, a letter from your employer stating your start date, your vacations, and that you are an employee of their organization. In addition, you can also take any other form of address proof like utility bill or Aadhaar card. Some embassies also require travelers to undergo a medical examination to ensure that they are not carrying any infectious diseases. This is especially important if you are planning to stay for a longer period in the Schengen area. But those details would be mentioned in the checklist once you fill your visa application form. In your appointment, you will submit your application and all the supporting documents that we have discussed. And the embassy will collect your biometric data, which includes your fingerprints and a photograph. After your application has been processed, you will receive a decision from the embassy. And if your visa is approved, it will be attached to your passport and you can now start packing for your trip. And that's it. Follow these steps and you will have a smooth and successful Schengen visa application journey. Thank you for watching.